Sodium batteries might have an impressive range of 300 miles, not inferior to LFP batteries, while costing only 1 per 7 of LFP batteries. The demand for lithium in the United States is expected to increase by nearly 487% to about 412,000 tons of lithium carbonate equivalent by 2030, but when global lithium reserves are only 22 million tons. Meanwhile, sodium is very easily found and abundant, up to 400 billion tons in the world's large salt mines. So how will sodium battery make Tesla's $25,000 cars a reality? Let's start with today's episode. If you were an EV designer, what factors would you focus on to create a cheap, efficient, and high-range EV? A former battery module design engineer at Tesla, Spencer Gore concentrates on its battery first. He believes that the sodium-ion battery technology of his bedrock materials startup is ready for use in a 300-mile EV at a price lower than the current cheapest lithium-iron phosphate batteries that are in the Model Y and Model 3. According to Spencer Gore, CEO of the startup said, it's looking almost certain that sodium ion will get better than lithium ion phosphate, the cheapest lithium ion. And, in short, we're trying to make the $25,000 Tesla actually possible. Then, his bedrock material startup is looking to commercialize an even cheaper battery technology that doesn't use lithium at all. The company has developed a cathode that replaces it with sodium, and also uses other abundant materials like iron, aluminum, or manganese. The startup's technology was originally developed at Argonne National Labs in Chicago, and Bedrock's new headquarters is now near the lab. They expect to be in pilot production in three years, and mass production in four years. Today we're producing material on a kilogram scale, and we're constantly tweaking and improving the material, Gore says. The biggest challenge will be scaling up production. At a smaller scale, the batteries can be used in other applications, from electric bikes and scooters to forklifts. The latest material advancements in sodium ion battery materials have also addressed their energy density disadvantage that prevented them from being installed in anything but compact city cars, too. Spencer mentions that batteries with Bedrock's sodium cathode can now be only slightly larger than the 300-mile LFP packs to achieve the same capacity. Adding an extra weight equivalent to another passenger, it is perfectly acceptable for a mass-market electric car that would cost below $25,000 thanks to the affordable sodium battery chemistry. Bedrock Materials is already producing the cathode components needed and just got $8.5 million in seed money to scale up their domestic production which would eventually help make cars with its sodium ion cells eligible for the federal tax credit subsidy. There's already demand for this in cars, Gore says. Almost every automaker that we've spoken to is looking at sodium ion technology in one capacity or another. Some are more serious than others. It's pretty obvious why. They're all under serious pressure to reduce their costs for electric vehicles and become profitable. How Tesla, KTL, and other car brands utilize this potential? CATL, one of China's most valuable battery manufacturing companies, also did not miss this opportunity when cooperating with Tesla, because sodium ion batteries have the advantage that other batteries shy away from. Fast charging and higher performance at low temperatures. They might utilize the same method as Bedrock Materials Company and then CATL claims its first-generation sodium-ion battery can recharge to 80% in 15 minutes at ideal temperatures. The energy storage density of next-generation sodium-ion batteries is expected to exceed 200 dollars wits per kilogram, up from 160 worryin of the first generation. More surprisingly, CATL itself, the world's largest battery company, has said that it can produce sodium batteries 30% cheaper. So if we calculate the price of a lithium-ion battery at 120 kilowattorewatt, the price for one normal KW1 of a sodium battery is estimated at around $75, and it could be just more than $50 if KTL can reduce 30% as their goal. So, take an example. An electric vehicle with a 75 kWh battery pack would only cost $3,150 if using sodium, compared to $9,000 for a similar battery pack using lithium-ion batteries. So, utilizing sodium definitely is more cost-effective, which could save at least $5,000 per unit. Thus, 
The goal of producing cars priced at $25,000 like the Tesla Model 2 has been getting closer to Tesla and consumers, especially those with average incomes, and must consider carefully before investing such a huge amount of money in their daily transportation. However, to achieve the same range at 300 miles compared with lithium-ion batteries, sodium-ion batteries may require a slightly larger battery size, adding weight equivalent to another passenger. If KTL's sodium-ion battery with a 300-mile range and 80% charge time of just 15 minutes is introduced, it will help Tesla get closer to its goal of creating wallet-friendly cars at a price of about $25,000. This is definitely a breakthrough in the electric vehicle industry. This will bring a series of benefits not only to Tesla, but also to consumers. First of all, consider convenience. Fast charging times and wide operating range will alleviate drivers' concerns about spending too much time charging the battery. In just 15 minutes, you can fill up 80% of the battery's capacity, enough to move around the city or on short trips without worrying about running out of power. This also creates a more comfortable driving experience, helping users enjoy the flexibility that electric vehicles offer without having to sacrifice too much time. Next, for Tesla, using sodium ion battery technology can help them significantly improve competition in the market and affirm their leading position in the world. With fast charging capabilities and a wide operating range that is not inferior to a car using LFP batteries, Tesla can attract millions of new customers especially those with daily travel schedules or travel moving long distances but want to keep the convenience and savings of using an electric vehicle. This could lead to sales growth and once again strengthen Tesla's position in the electric car industry. Looking at consumer markets like China, where there is a significant growth in the transition to electric vehicles, having a battery with fast charging times and a large range will be a huge advantage. Tesla's important period in the second largest market on the planet. Recent statistics show that while the US electric vehicle market holds about 25%, the European electric vehicle market holds about 20% of the global market share. China's electric vehicle market share will continue to increase in the coming years, possibly reaching 50% or higher by 2025. Consumers here will be very interested in using electric vehicles but still want to keep the convenience and efficiency of using vehicles. Therefore, if Tesla can dominate this market, its revenue and reputation will increase. 